That report still shows Democrats out register Republicans in California two to one. But the California Republican Party is encouraged by these new numbers that show the party is gaining traction in pretty much every part of the state. So here are the numbers. The latest registration report from the California Secretary of State shows Republicans increase the number of registered voters in every single state assembly, state Senate, and congressional district between October and January. The party also gained ground in all but two of California's 58 counties, all but Alpine and Mono counties to be exact. Republicans overall gained 46,000 registered voters statewide, while Democrats lost 30,000 according to the report. The number of no party preference voters is dwindling with a loss of 70,000 voters. The California Republican Party says this boost for them could be for a number of reasons, including disappointment in policies passed by the state's Democratic-led government, and also the fact that the Republican presidential primary election is closed. Now, no party preference voters who want to vote in California's Republican presidential primary, they have to re-register as Republicans in order to get that ballot with the Republican presidential options. The party acknowledged people are energized about that side of the race. We caught up with California Republican Party Chairwoman Jessica Milan Patterson, who has been at the forefront of ramping up Republican voter registration. I'm not surprised to see it because I think not only have California Republicans shown up with what solutions they have, but California Democrats have given them so much to work with. For Republicans in this party who might feel maybe hopeless in some of these statewide elections. I mean, what would you say at this point? It's definitely been about playing the long game. It has definitely been that from day one in February of 2019. We wanted to make sure that we were building something here in California that people would be able to continue to build on long after the leadership at the party left. And so it's exciting to watch. For response to this, we checked in with Democratic strategist Steve Maviglio. Despite the gains Republicans have made, statewide voter registration numbers show Democrats Democrats still make up 47% of California's registered voters, while Republicans make up 24%. Maviglio says the small traction Republicans are gaining is something Democrats will need to keep an eye on. There's only one way for the Republicans to go, and that's up. Uh, they're at their lowest historical levels in voter registration in the state. The toxicity of the Trump brand in California is so strong, I don't think that's going to translate into election results. The Democrats have to keep an eye on it because there has been some erosion nationally. Latino support and African-American support. And they've been ringing the alarm bells in Washington about that. And I think we need to do the same in California. California now has the largest Republican Party of any state in the country recently edging out Florida. Now, both parties acknowledge voter registration is important, but ultimately the results of an election depend on voters actually turning out, turning in those ballots and showing up at the polls, which they say is part of the work that will really begin ramping up within the next month. Reporting at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. Ashley, thank you. Voter registration numbers will continue to update as we get closer to the primary election.